Hello from Amsterdam, my name is Ivana and this is part 5 of the relaxing yoga class. In this video we are going to do the 12 basic postures of Shivananda Hatha Yoga and we're going to start out with the headstand. Now if you have heart problems or high blood pressure you should not do this posture but in case you're wondering if you can do this if you have never done it before Yes, for sure. I'm going to show you how. If it's the first time you're doing it or if you're still unsure about the posture, feel free to do this in front of a wall so your feet can lean against the wall when you come up. Now, this is how we are going to do the headstand. First, take the measurements. Grab the left bicep with the right hand and the other way around. And now put the elbows in front of you. Do not move the elbows. Open the hands without moving the elbows and interlock the fingers. Now make sure the hands stay vertical like this, not horizontal. Now lean forward and put the tip of the forehead, so right where your hair starts, in between the hands. So this part, I'm going to point it out. Yes. So not the top of the head, not the forehead, not this one, not this one, but really in between those two. That's a spot of the head that's going to be on the mat. Now, if at any point you feel like the elbows have moved, feel free to take the measurements again. I have done a headstand a thousands of times and I still take the measurements every single time. Put the head in between the interlocked fingers, remember, hands horizontal, lift up the hips and walk forward slowly as far as you can. Bend one leg, bend the next leg and this is the balance. If you can reach this balance over here, you can do the headstand. Some people jump, but it's a lot less balanced than coming up, coming up this way. So you can do that against the wall to get more strength in the shoulders. But if you really want to balance, this is the way to come up. Now breathe. That's what most people forget when they're upside down. Just breathe normally. And remember, whether you believe you can do it or can't do it, it's all in the mind. Whichever one you believe to be true, is true. Breathe. Try to stay here for 10 breaths. Whenever you're ready, slowly, gently, one leg at a time, come down in the child's pose. So, bended legs, abdomen on the thighs, forehead on the mat, and arms parallel to the body. And just breathe. Relax. If you really can't come up, this is the way to build the strength in the shoulders, the dolphin posture. So take the measurements again, open the arms without moving the elbows and interlock the fingers. Stretch the legs back and lift up the hips, just like in a downward dog. And that's actually exactly what we're going to be doing. So you're going to lift up the hips and then move forward, body in a straight line, lift up the hips. And move forward, body in a straight line, lift up the hips. Do this as long as you can, but at least 10 times to build up the strength in the shoulders. For the more advanced students, if you're not advanced, you can just skip this part, but I do want to show it. I'm going to show you two variations of the Scorpio. So one is from headstand. First, come up in headstand, take the measurements. One leg up, two legs up, balance. Come up, slowly. Find the balance and then when you feel you have the balance, lean backwards with the legs. Feel the balance and when you feel you have it, you can open the arms like this. Feel the balance and try to come up. Yes, I am still practicing this one. You can do it only 50% of the times. But it's all about feeling the balance. So you can try that against the wall if you have no trouble with the headstand and are looking for a new challenge. Also you can try this variation of Scorpio, take the measurements, 
open the arms without moving the elbows and you really need strong fingers. Always keep looking forward in Scorpio. You see the point that I'm pointing out in between the hands? Look at that point. And then whenever you're ready, jump up. Try to find a balance. If it's the first time you're doing it, try it against the wall. Keep looking forward. That's the balance in Scorpio. Breathe. Don't forget to breathe. And try to relax and meditate in the posture. Whenever you're ready, one leg at a time, down. Now rest in child's pose. Because all the blood is now in the head. <laughs> and if you come up too fast, you will be dizzy. Just relax. Breathe. Whenever you're ready, come up slowly and turn around, lay on the back. We're going to move into shoulder stand. I'm also going to show you a basic version and an advanced version. So this is the regular basic version. Lift up the legs and support the back as straight as possible as you can. And breathe. Now, if you have trouble coming up, you can lean with the legs against the wall and then actually walk up as far as you can. So the wall supports the feet. Now, if you want to do a more advanced posture and your legs are completely straight and the back is completely straight, you can try lifting up one arm and two arms and breathe. Try to be as straight as possible. Breathe. If you want even more advanced, this is what I'm practicing right now, you can come into Lotus and try to lift up the arms and keep the legs as straight as possible. Breathe and relax. Now we're going to move on into the plow. So one leg down, support the back, and the other leg down. If your feet can't touch the floor, that's completely okay. Just breathe. And also, if you have trouble coming down, you can also use a wall for support. So lean against the wall with the feet and try to walk down as far as possible. Don't force the body, just relax. Breathe. Now, if the feet are touching the ground, you can try the advanced posture. So put the knees on the mat next to the ears, like this. Or, if you even want more stretch for the neck, try to put the knees behind the top of the head. Breathe. For even more stretch, interlock the fingers and stretch the arms. Now this is all advanced. If you're not advanced, don't worry, just relax. The most important part of this yoga is relaxing. Everybody has their own journey. Breathe. Now, whenever you're ready, slowly come up, support the back, and one leg at a time, come down. Buttocks on the mat. We're going to move into the fish posture, so put the hands underneath the buttocks, legs straight, and lift up the chest, lean on the elbows, 
The top of the head is not touching the mat, so you're leaning on the elbows. Lift up the chest. Breathe. Now if you want an advanced posture, you can try the fish posture in lotus, like this. Hands underneath the buttocks. And then lift up the head, lean on the elbows. For even more advanced, try holding the feet. The right hand holding the left foot. And the left hand holding the right foot. Elbows on the mat. Lift up the chest and lift up the head. This is my new challenge. <laughs> As you can see, my knees are not on the ground and my head is still on the mat. Like I said, everybody has their own journey. Relax. The more the body relaxes, the more the stretch will come. Now, sit straight. Legs straight, back straight, hands next to the hips. Straighten the back, lift up the arms and lean forward. Try to touch the tummy to the thighs. That's actually the most important part of this posture. If you can touch the toes, that's amazing. Then try touching the tummy to the thighs. Or, if you're already holding the feet and the tummy is already touching the thighs, try to interlock the fingers behind the feet. And breathe. Relax. One thing that really helps with this posture is to walk back with the buttocks a little bit. Now turn around, lay on the chest, legs straight, one hand on top of the other and just relax for a little bit. Breathe. We're going to move into the cobra pose, so hands next to the chest, not in front of you, next to the chest. Breathe in and come up, hips on the floor, not up, elbows bended, toes flat. And whenever you inhale, you lift up a little bit more. Exhale, relax the buttocks, shoulders down. Inhale, come up. Shoulders down, exhale, relax the buttocks, inhale, come up, exhale, relax the buttocks, inhale, come up, exhale, relax the buttocks, shoulders down, and come down. The next posture is going to be the locus. So for this one, you interlock the fingers underneath the hips. Make sure the thumbs are flat like this. 
for the guys, be careful for your crown jewels. Lift up the hips a little bit, also for the girls. And then whenever you're ready, lift up the legs, lean on the chest, and breathe. Try to stay here for 10 breaths. And come down. The next pose is going to be the bow pose. So bend the legs, grab the ankles, not the toes, the ankles, and come up and breathe. Again, try to stay here for at least 10 breaths. Breathe. Slowly come down and rest in child's pose. We're going to move on to a twist. So sit on the left thigh, bend the left leg, and put the right foot behind the left knee, like this. So the buttock, the left buttock, and the right buttock are still on the mat. The spine straight by leaning on the right hand. And then put the left elbow behind the right knee and twist, look back. Keep the spine straight, shoulders down, both buttocks on the mat, and look back, breathe. Now if you're a little bit more advanced, you can try putting the left hand through the right knee and grabbing the right hand. So keep the spine straight and both buttocks on the mat. Actually, if the buttocks are coming up, that's okay. They will come down. Breathe and look back. We're going to move on to the other side. So sit on the right thigh, hold the right leg. Put the left foot behind the right knee, both buttocks on the mat, see like this. Lean on the left hand to keep the spine straight and put the right elbow behind the left knee. Push back into a twist, keep the spine straight, shoulders down. For a more advanced posture, Put the right hand through the left knee and try to grab the left hand. Keep the spine straight. Yes, straight. <laughs> yeah. Breathe and relax. Now come to the front of the mat. We're going to do the crow pose. So sit on the heels like this, knees wide, and then put the hands in front of you on the mat. We need strong fingers, really strong fingers like this. <laughs> now try to put the knees as high as possible on the triceps and if you have never done this try just leaning forward on your tippy toes like this just feel the balance feel the weight on the arms 
and look forward again. The balance is when you look forward. When you feel like you can, you can lift one foot up and then the next and look forward. Never forget to look forward. If you look down like this, you will lose the balance. If you're very scared to fall, you can also put a pillow in front of you. And breathe. Slowly come back. And walk to the front of the mat. We're going to do the forward bend, so you can't see my head right now. But lift up the arms. Back straight. And bend forward. Hey, there I am again. Try to touch the tummy to the thighs. And if you can, try to twist the arms, the hands, and bend forward. Again, if you are just touching the knees, that's okay. If you're just touching the ankles, that's completely okay. Just breathe and try to relax. Keep the legs straight. Breathe. Now we're going to do the opposite stretch, so support the back and lean back. Hips forward, chest up. Breathe. The final posture is going to be the triangle pose. Feet a little bit wider than the hips and the left foot is going to be rotated straight to the front. The right foot is at a 45 degree angle. Arms wide, lift up the torso, move forward and then bend to the side. Right arm behind the ear, look up. Keep the hips straight. You should feel the stretch in the side. Don't try to bend as deep as possible by bending the hips. Keep the hips straight. And feel the stretch in the side of the body. Look up. And breathe. We're going to do the other side, so now rotate the right foot to the front and the left foot at a 45 degree angle. Arms wide, lift up the chest, move forward and stretch to the side. Left arm behind the ear, look up, keep the hips straight and breathe. Now to get the arm behind the ear, sometimes it's easier to rotate it in position, like this. Now slowly, gently come up and we are done, ready for the final relaxation. Lay down in the Shavasana pose and the sixth video is going to be the final relaxation.